and scare Jennifer. That has a long process of becoming a thing. I'm doing it. And all the workers are female. As it should be. <laughs> Nature knows. <laughs> Nature knows best. There you go, Jen. Uh, one of the biggest rain frogs. The rest, definitely smaller than this one. Trust me. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool picture this time. I think it's Hamilton. There's a characteristic which makes it very different from the other hydrogen. People sometimes go to dry the hydrogen. Because in the leaf, in the plant, there's an alkaloid which is to make it open. Let's light it up. People say, <laughs> people say that's what they call it high Christmas. It's getting high. I don't know why we don't have so many dry leaves on the trail. Who knows? Maybe the wind. A friend of mine says it's fun. A friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they live inside, and what they run, they run it, run it to the top. Or it's the kind of honey which is on top of the place. So the tree gives the house because they live inside and the food is on top. As a, as a symbiotic relationship with food quality, you know? Yeah, they're going to the top because they think there was an animal trying to get their honey. So they run to the top. It's going running to the top. Look at that. Right on the top is this animal. And it hurts. It's not as bad as a pirate, but it's really, really bad. Timmy is checking out my ass.